what is up fam what is good all of my brothers and sisters out there all of my kings and queens welcome back or welcome to if you're new to a royalty book club tea party yeah y'all know what day it is it's friday which means it's feature friday and this week we will be zoning in on the author carmel brown and her novel loving has a limit be yes let's get on this one okay so the author carmel brown's novel loving has a limit follows kiara and kiara has two kids uh they're twins and she just left her baby daddy to call me she left her baby daddy Jacoby for this nigga named Xavier. Now, I, first off, right off the bat, want to say I appreciate the fact that the author let us know these motherfuckers' uh, agendas and what they were really aiming for right off the bat. Now, Xavier, he seemed cool at first. Then, it is known Spoiler alert, if you have not read the book, and if you plan on reading the book, go to the link in my description box, check it out, read it, and then come on back over here to Mama, and we can talk about it together, sis. Um, and if you have read it already, go ahead and comment down below, and you know, let's check. Like I said, I really enjoy how she let us know first off off the rip. Xavier, sis, he ain't she. Ugh. Talking about you want... Kiara to join his team. Man, get the fuck out of here. Really? No. And then Kiara. We thought she was, you know, a little smarter. She on her job. She all about their money. All about them tokens. But, bitch, you're stupid. Um, She weak. I won't say she's stupid or she weak because in the end, we figure out what it really was. And we're not there yet. So, let's take our time. Now, I went in there thinking our good sis Kiki was a little slow. Not, oh, I can't catch up to the bus slow, but, oh, I'm on a little school bus slow. Um, it might have also been that, but once we get deeper into the story, it becomes way more than that. Because, bitch, you're smarter than you give yourself credit for. Especially if you know things and you're not saying nothing. Closed mouths don't get fed, baby. Mm. And, like... Every ever couple, every other couple of pages, I would just catch myself just, you know, shaking my head at this grown ass woman with these two talking, walking around children. They go just everything, all that. Okay, and I'm like, how old are you? How old are you? Because, like I said, she left her old nigga Jacoby. And now, in my mind, once you leave a dog nigga, you should have those thoughts. It's like, okay, I now know what a, what a dog nigga is. Even though sometimes you most likely don't know because just because one dog nigga don't mean they all dog niggas. You know what I'm saying? But you should peep. Especially if you're old. I don't know how old Kiara was. But she didn't seem old enough to tie her shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, bitch, find your find your mind and like i said it took me a minute to figure out if she was just a weak hoe or a stupid hoe then it dawned on me this bitch is just stupid and weak both combined which is the worst motherfucking combination well you know desperate and dumb are bad too but at this point in the book she was stupid and weak to me because okay we have our issues. Um, I like you. You seem to like me. Okay, that's cool. Whatever issues we have, we have it. I think personally the Xavier was on that shit. But I didn't get no, I, nobody told me this. I just feel like he was a bit much. Um, but I realized that this bitch was stupid and weak when she allowed this nigga. Now. I ain't told you this, but she a hustler, baby. Kia's a hustler. She hustles for that money. She quit her job to keep an eye on her kids because she did not have the money to get a babysitter. Even though you left Jacoby, it got with Xavier. 
he was handling that shit, but you're still hustling and you know doing tossing drugs out your house. Even when this nigga was putting these kids in cabs to get them to where they needed to go, you still didn't want a job. You still just wanted to be around. So again, bitch, how old are you? But then this nigga decided, oh, I don't want these drugs no more. I'm going to destroy them. So she stood there and allowed this nigga to destroy, I don't know how much much money of drugs that she spent her money on. It was going to make her money back. But as soon as I saw him him fucking with her money, I know, oh no, bitch. You must be dumb. You must be weak. Because I ain't no way a smart, strong woman is going to allow a man to come to on her money. Then he hit me. Maybe she desperate too. Because then he started to dis- disrespect the children. And still, she sat there with her mouth shut. You guys, this is October. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. This is how your book was a load of bullshit. This nigga deserved his ass beat several different times in several different ways. The way he was treating this bitch and her kids. Like, get the fuck. They wound up getting arrested because, of course... You got your door open because, you know, you're the neighborhood candy lady. You got your door open so my folks just can come in and order shit. But your nigga, your nigga got crack. Just lay that on the table. You walk in, oh, that's crack. Oh, that's crack. Oh, that's crack. Oh, that's crack. Even the motherfucker dope thing just said, hey, bro, you should probably put this up. But you, the woman at the house, with your kids in his house, I ain't never said, oh, babe, maybe we shouldn't just, you know, blah, blah, blah. And even if she did, she she ain't say it loud enough, because this nigga is walking all over her, saying, fuck her money, fuck her kids, fuck her house, and fuck her livelihood. Then, of course, they got arrested. And come to find out, this bitch didn't even know this nigga's real name. Mm. Surprising? Not really, because, bitch, you're dumb. Then she refused to snitch. Bitch, couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. Because, oh, my two kids, the prince of the princess. Oh, they're going to nobody's home. They're coming home with their mother. I don't know what was going on. I was being beaten every day. He had drugs in my house. We were we were being kept against our will. And his name is Hunter, Um, whatever, Hunter William, whatever his real name is. And he'd been doing this. This is him. But no, this bitch want to put on a brave face for her man. Mm. Okay. And I really truly appreciate this book because this is real life. This is real life. Bitches down here got four, five kids. Still desperate. Still need that spot in their bed. Built, even though they don't have no spot, no room for themselves because they got they're surrounded by kids by different niggas just because they're looking for a nigga to stay. But how can you get a nigga to stay when well, you're so desperate to do anything? You're desperate enough to allow your kids to live in a house where drugs be moved in and out. You're desperate enough to allow this nigga to fuck with your money. You're desperate enough to allow this nigga to talk bad about your kids in front of their face. You just want to go to jail for this nigga. And again, the entire time, I was asking myself, like, bitch, how old are you? Because this book is so real. I think everybody can't identify with it at some point in their life. Like me. I'm 25. I was younger and dumber than I am now. And I did some shit with a nigga for a nigga because of a nigga. And it got me in some trouble. But at 19, I had my daughter. And I'm like, oh, nigga, okay. Hmm. I don't need to be with you. We fighting. We in this shit. We in this shit. We doing this shit. We doing this shit. I should be doing this shit. If I get caught, I got a child. They take my daughter. You know I'm important. It's about my daughter. And... I think we all have that moment. And Kiara had that moment. When she got pregnant for the second time, or I have many times with her third child, 
um, out of the twins, she decided, oh, I want better for myself. And no, I'm not judging. I'm not. But like I said, you got twins. You didn't just left they daddy. And we took another nigga to get arrested and to get pregnant again to realize, bitch, you have lost your mind. Hmm. Okay. There's also red light because the bitches out here on their fourth and fifth kid still searching. Bitch, find it. And this is real life. And I appreciate the Arthur Chrome Brown 100% for this novel, especially this month. Women awake up. This woman in this book says several different times, oh, I know this isn't right. Oh, I, I like, I love Xavier, but the way he moves sometimes is really ridiculous to me. Oh, I can't believe I'm letting him mess up these trucks. How can I find the money now? You're saying this to yourself, but you, your feet ain't moving. And this thing happens every day. Every day is, oh, I don't really want to be here with this man because he beating my ass. But oh, I'm gonna look here under him, but we're gonna fuck because I really don't want to know if I really don't want to leave or I wasn't gonna want to go. This is real life. This shit happens every day. So I give this book hands down a four stars, a four star rating because baby, from the beginning to the end, this is real life. I did take away one story because it was a few proofreading editing mistakes that I did catch, which kind of threw me off a little bit while I was reading the book. But oh, wow, this book is freaking superb. Go ahead in the description box below and hit that link and download your own. And again, if you have not read it, I hope you enjoyed the spoilers. And I hope after you didn't watch this video, you still want to read the book because there's so much you need to read. It's so much to talk about. So drop it in the comments section below what you what you thought was the craziest thing about this bitch and this nigga. Because <laughs> they both blew my mind all the way back. If this was a wig, bitch, it would be gone. So, again, comment down below. The link is in the description box below. Get that link for this month's book of the month. We will be discussing that come next week. Also, the author in the book, the author in the spotlight, will be this Sunday. So, be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys so much for your love and support. We love, love, love you all. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for being here. If you guys are not a part of the fam, be sure to subscribe now. We got so much more for you. If you're not a reader, which I don't know how you're not, you can stick around for our cleaning videos, our hauls, our vlogs, and so much more. But... In the meantime, between time, thank you all again so much for your love and support and for sticking around and watching me rant about this fucking beautiful book by the author Carmel Brown. Her Instagram and all that will be in the description box below as well. As well as ours, go ahead, follow us on IG um, and see all of the juicy books all the juicy sneak peeks that we have to come and with that being said you all mm -hmm. peace love and positive vibes y'all mm -hmm. deuces mm -hmm.